Character and word counts in Microsoft Office are super easy. So what this is here is just an old research abstract. It's just about a page long here um, that was submitted to a conference and we had a limit of 2000 characters to work with. So all we're going to do here, let's say we're gonna highlight the whole thing and see how many characters or words we have depending on what you need to do. And I'm gonna go up to the, the bar here, the, the menu bar, and I'm going to click review. And under review in the left hand side here where we have this proofreading is this ABC123 word count. So I'm going to click on that and pops it up right there. So really quick, really easy, right? So we have one page, 394 words. We have 2,103 characters, but um, this is not including spaces. If we do include spaces, we have 2,498 characters. Um, so the difference being how many spaces we have in this document. And it's counting three paragraphs because I have uh, three different enders here. So the title, the, the author block, and then the actual text of the abstract and 30 lines of text. We needed to get under 2000 characters for this one, um, but it, sometimes it's not for the whole document. So in this case, it wasn't for the whole document. Fortunately uh, for this conference, the title and the author block, so this top section here, didn't count against your, your character limit. All that counted was the actual text of the, uh, the content text of the abstract. So I'm just gonna highlight just that, go back to our word count option here, and notice we have 1,967 characters without spaces, which again is what I had to use was the character count without spaces for this conference. Um, so I was under the 2,000, we're, we were good to go. Sometimes you might need to do something else to your document, like put in line numbers on the side of the document. So I'll go ahead and put a, a link in the description below to a video I've done previously showing how to put line numbers in your documents.